Hello, welcome and welcome friends to another episode on Prophetic Switch. So today we are talking about women in the Bible that we probably haven't heard of. Women who moved in miraculous ways and God used them in the formation of Israel and Jerusalem. Women who were into the prophetic ministries and probably we never heard about that. So um, today we're going to begin our topic with the women in the Bible and we'll begin with um, Hulda. I uh, do not know if you've heard about her, but she's been mentioned twice only in the Bible, in the second book of Second Kings and also in the book of Second Chronicles. Now let's get down to the Bible and read exactly uh, what was written about her, what she said and how she shaped um, the history of Jerusalem, the history of Israel and also how and why King Josiah, while he was 16 years and above, went only to Hilda. Why did he choose only Hilda? And, and what did she say to him that helped him in um, regaining uh, power, regaining strength and forgiveness before God over his people? So dive in with me. Let's move it on. We read from 2 Kings uh, chapter 22 and verse 14. So I have my Bible here. I'm just going to read it over here. So he says, uh, so the priest or the chief priest, uh, Hilkiah, and his, you know, there are a few people there who were in, um, you know, his household, like, you know, a team of his ministers. They went to the prophetess Hilda, the wife of Shalom, son of uh, Tikva, son of Harris, that keep out the wardrobe, who was living in Jerusalem in the Menesim, and um, they spoke to her. Now, you, want, you have to understand that before we get down, reading down to 15. Uh, now, um, Hilkiah has found a scroll while King Josiah gave him uh, the charge to go and refurnish or renovate um, the, the, you know, the temple of Solomon. They found a scroll and the scroll was containing something that was disturbing to King Josiah and then he wanted um, Hilda to read and tell them what God was saying. So she was prophesying, interpreting a prophecy, a word a later that has been found in a scroll. Now, this is what she said. She responded, Thou said the Lord of God, of uh, thou said the Lord, the God of Israel, say to the man who sent you to me. Now, saying back to the king, thou said the Lord, I'm going to bring disaster upon this place and its inhabitants in accordance with the words of the scroll which the king of Judah has read. Now, that, that is, you know, so they came to her. You have to understand that the king, as at then, a young king, decided. Now, he had other options. He had Jeremiah, he had uh, Nephaniah, he had Lehi, who he would have gone to, who was in Jerusalem. They were other, they were other prophets then that would have, you know, ministered to him, but he decided to go ahead in approaching Hilda, a female prophet. Now, this is not in the, from the Bible. This is from different sources I have. You can check that on, uh, I think, on the on the description of this video. Um, there are sources which said that he specifically chose Hilda because she had a heart of compassion and he felt that whatever prophecy that was going to come out was going to come with a heart of compassion, one, towards him to accept and secondly, for Israel to accept. Now, this is what happened. When the, when the king heard, when they came back to him, heard what he was saying, what, what, what Hilda has already prophesied, the next thing the king did was to gather everyone together and the priest, uh, the high priest, the Levite, the great and the poor, the young, he gathered everyone together to abide with the prophecy that she has prophesied. So now the question is, why then um, we do not hear so much about her? I don't know why, but I know that digging in just a little into this fact, I understand that there are women in the Bible, there were prophetic women in the Bible who really changed um, the history of Israel. Getting back also to heal there. Now, um, all traditions, all the sources say, records that there's a record 
that she was prophesying alongside with Jeremiah and Zephaniah, and also that there was a gate that was in Jerusalem that was named after her because she was buried within the same city. Now, this is a lady, a woman prophet who was very prominent in the Bible. Now, you may ask yourself a question. Why are we talking about this? Why are we seeing this? Why is this so important? Well, this is very important because there are uh, some, how do I say, mm, there is a conception or um, a subjective um, uh, opinion that is being accepted that women cannot be called in to the prophetic ministry women cannot be prophets so i just want to throw more light onto this and would get i mean this is we're talking about only hilda we have all the prophet women we're going to talk about so you can watch the video the next video here so you see um um all the videos about prominent women in the bible who were uh prophets and even in the new testament so i hope you understand what it's all about what I'm trying to get in touch, what I'm trying to get to you is that uh, God is not respectful of any man and there are no gifts or callings that are specifically made for men. I do not believe in that. And this is why I'm coming up with this video to make you understand that God can choose anyone, can place anyone, can call anyone into any ministry because he has chosen to do so. There is no condemnation whatsoever, no gender uh, discrimination whatsoever. If a man can be a prophet or a woman cannot be a prophet, I do not think that is right. And that is something we have to address in our society today. Now, God bless you for watching this. If you have questions, I know there are going to be questions.